So we've talked about resistors in series, and now we're going to look at resistors in parallel. Resistors in parallel uh, provide multiple paths for the current to flow. Current always flows from the positive end to the negative end of the battery, and so this current can take it different routes. Uh, uh, some of it can go through this resistor, some of it can go through this resistor, and some of it can go through this resistor. It doesn't loop back on itself, because when you're going this way, you're going against the potential energy. It would be like rolling uphill, and that doesn't happen. And so if you think of these as sort of a plumbing system, all the water enters your house, some of it goes through your shower, some of it goes through your sink, some of it goes through your washing machine, or something like that, and it all goes out the drain again and leaves the house. And so we want to know, just like we did with resistors in series, well, what is the total resistance of this circuit? That's sort of the first question we ask. And so we want to treat this, maybe imagine that this is just one giant resistor, and we'll call it R parallel, right? And so we want to know how is R parallel related to uh, uh, related to the resistances across each of these guys. And so notice in this case, we'll call this current I, but this current I splits into I1, I2, and I3, depending on which resistor it goes through. Unlike the series circuit, which we, where the current was the same through each guy, here we have I, which is our total current, is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Right. And so if we treat this all as one giant resistor, we can say, look, um, I is equal to V divided by R parallel. As I say, if we use Ohm's law and just apply, just treat this as a black box, then the current through this is the voltage on the circuit divided by the total resistance of this circuit. Right. Similarly, if I just look at this guy, I can say V1 is equal to, um, well, let's just write it this way, I1 is equal to V1 over R1. But, but V1, the voltage across R1 is just V. That is, the voltage across this resistor, since it's connected by wires at both ends to the battery, is just the same thing as the voltage on the battery. Similarly, I2 is equal to V2 over R2 is just V over R2. And finally, I3 is V over R3, sorry, V3 over R3, which is just V over R3. And so if I take all this information, I can say, look, I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, but I'm going to replace I with this guy, and then I1 with this guy, I2 with this guy, and I3 with this guy, and I'm going to get this. Um, so I'll just write it again. I equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. This is the same thing as V over R parallel is equal to V over R1 plus V over R2 plus V over R3. Everybody's got a V. And so this just gives us 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Of course, if we had 50 of them, it would just be plus all the others. So if you look at this equation, by the way, so the, the capacitors, uh, resistors in parallel have the, a similar equation to capacitors in series, and capacitors in parallel add like resistors in series. So they're flipped from each other. And so if you remember them, try to keep that in mind. Um, notice as I add resistors in parallel, I actually reduce the total resistance of my circuit. Right? Because if I stick another resistor in here, 1 over R4, this quantity gets larger because I've added something to it. It doesn't matter what R4 is. If I add another 1 over R4, this quantity gets bigger. And that means 1 over R parallel gets bigger, which means R parallel, which is the inverse of that, gets smaller. Every resistor I add in series to my circuit makes the total resistance of my circuit smaller. And that should make sense because I'm giving the current 
more places to flow. So, so here's a, a parallel resistors example. Um, so we're going to have uh, three resistors in parallel. This is V, which is 12 volts. Right. Um, I'm going to have just a resistor here. That's R1. I'm going to have a resistor here. That's R2. And a resistor here. That's R3. Fine. And so I'll have a total current here, I. And here I'll have I1. Here I'll have I2. And here I'll have I3. And we want to determine all of this along with the powers and all that stuff. And so the first thing we realize is that is that V1 equals V2 equals V3 equals V, right? Since both ends of my battery are connected by wires to either end of my resistors, then each resistor sees the total voltage of the battery. It's not true when they're in series, because when they're in series, as you saw in the previous example, both ends of the resistor are not connected to both ends of the battery. But here all my V's are the same. And what that means is that I can, it's fairly straightforward for me to calculate the currents. I1 is equal to V over R1. That's 12 volts over 10 ohms, which is 1.2 amps. Similarly, I2 is equal to V over R2 is equal to 12 volts over 20 ohms, which is 0 0.6 amps. And finally, I3, which is V over R3, is uh, 12 volts over 30 ohms, which is 0 0.4 amps. And so those are all of my currents, right? So I have the voltage across, the current through, the power consumed by. Well, if the power consumed by is just VI, and so the power consumed in one is, is V1 I1, right? They all see the same voltage, it's just 12 volts. And so 12 volts times 1.2 amps is 14.4 watts. Similarly, P2, it's just the same voltage and half the current, so it'll be 7.2 watts. Um, and finally, uh, P3 is 12 volts and uh, 0 0.4 amps, which is uh, 4.8 watts. Right. So whereas in the series circuit, the largest resistor gets the most power, you saw in the last example. In a parallel circuit, the smallest resistor gets the most power because it's the easiest place for the current to go through. Right. And so it gets most of the current and most of the power. And so I could say, you know, here I could say I total and that's 1.2 plus 0.6 plus 0.4 which is 2.2 .2 amps, right? Similarly, I could say the total power consumed is P1, am I still on screen, plus P2 plus P3. If I add these two, I get 12 plus 14.4, which is uh, maybe 26.4 watts. Let's do that again. 0.4 plus 7 is 8, and 4 is 12. 26.4. Okay.